A lot of you don't know this, but I am a junior in high school. Well, I was a junior in high school. I am going to be a senior in high school by, what is it, September, August? I, I, listen, I don't know the dates, man. All I know is that I'm going to be a senior. As much as I dislike school, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy that, like, the journey is about to end. The journey where, you know, the kids that I knew in elementary school, I'm never gonna see them again past high school. The kids that I knew in middle school, I'm never gonna see them past high school. You know what I'm saying? So once high school's over, I will never see those people again. It's a scary thought, you know? It's a scary thought to think that all these people that I knew, all these people that I was good or close with, I will never see them again. Or maybe I'll see them like on a bridge or something, but who knows? But you know what I mean. Everyone has their own path, everyone has their own journey. The fact that I'm not gonna see them again really hit me different. And I just thought to myself, if I could go back in time, what would I change? And I was like, first of all, I have no regrets. I was like, first of all, I have no regrets. And it's true, I have no regrets about high school. I have no regrets about the things that I did in high school. Mainly because I know that everything that I've done in high school, everything that's happened to me, everything that's happened in general in high school, has made me who I am today. And without those struggles, without the pain, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be mentally stable as I am right now. Mentally strong, mentally disciplined. But either way, you know, there's still some things that I wish that I knew, like some details, man, that I wish that I knew, you know, and we have a lot of new subscribers, so which I'm grateful for. Thank you, by the way, you know, 200 subscribers. Yes, sir. This is just the beginning. So we have a lot of new subscribers. We have a lot of middle schoolers going into high school. Or, hey, you might already be over with high school or whatever, but I'm about to spit some game to y'all, okay? This is free game right now. These are six things that I wish that I knew before starting high school. The first thing that I wish that I knew before starting high school is to save your money. I used to clown everybody who said, save your money, save your money. I was like, why do you have to save your money when you could just spend all your money on Fortnite skins? When you could spend all your money on PS4 stuff, spend your money on everything outside of you. And I didn't understand that <laughs> till this year when I had no money. Sure, I got money then and there. You know, I could have gotten a job, but you know, I was too lazy for that. I was not gonna, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Save your money. Every little money that you can get, if you get money from your parents, save that money. You get your money from your job, save that money. Cause you're going to need it someday. You're going to need it someday. Me, I am broke. <laughs> I have $2 in my wallet. It's not looking, it's not looking good guys. It's not looking good. I wish that I saved my money, not necessarily to buy new clothes or get haircuts or not necessarily get stuff outside of me but necessarily to build within me things that can help me in the future for example buying a gym membership or buying healthy foods or buying a camera yeah i'm talking to you camera <laughs> buying an editing software buying stuff that can help me you know build myself or build a channel not necessarily outside of like yourself you know, because I, I wish I had that money so I could spend it on things that could actually make me build myself innerly. Is that a word? I don't know. So save your money. Save your money. You're never going to know when you need it. You know what I'm saying? Don't waste it on Fortnite skins because trust me, I spent at least like $800, $500 on Fortnite skins. I, I don't. I Don't ask me. Don't waste your money on like things that just do not matter, okay? Think about it before you like want to buy it. So there's that. The second thing that I wish that I knew before starting high school, I wish that I would understand that comparison is the thief of joy. When I first heard that quote, shout out Jordan Green, by the way, check out his channel. When I first heard that quote, it changed my perspective, bro. If I heard that in freshman year, do you know where I could have been? I could have been a beast. So you freshmen out here who are watching the video or middle schoolers or whatever, or if you're in high school, comparison is the thief of joy. Stop comparing yourself to others, okay? You'll never be happy. You'll never be happy if you keep comparing yourself to others. You know, you can compare yourself to Timmy over there who's ripped, who's getting all the girls, who's this or that, who looks good. You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh man, he gets all the girls. Look at this guy. Oh man, he's jacked, man. Oh man, oh man. You know what I'm saying? But you could you could use him as inspiration for you to get better, but don't compare yourself to be like, damn man, look at me. No. Bro, you could use that as inspiration, but don't compare yourself. Because at the end of the day, Timmy over there, was his name Timmy or Johnny? I don't know. Timmy over there, he could be living a very bad life. Bad life, mentally. Okay? He could be living the worst life, and you're comparing yourself to someone who probably has it worse than you. Okay? 
I'm not saying you can't you can use them as inspiration, but don't compare yourself to the point where you put them higher than you. You shouldn't be putting anyone higher than you. No matter how they look, no matter where you're at in life, you shouldn't be putting anybody above you. Because at the end of the day, you're the main character of your story. Putting someone above you makes you a side character of your story. It makes no sense, okay? So co stop comparing yourself to others because it's mind-blowing, mind-blowing. You'll never be happy, okay? Compare yourself to the person that you were yesterday. Yesterday, you probably didn't work out. Today, you worked out. Yesterday, you probably didn't get your homework done. Or yesterday, <laughs> I bring up homework, but it's the summer. <laughs> yesterday, you probably didn't go outside. Then you went outside. How about that? Yeah. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Compare yourself from the, to the... Blah, 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 blah. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Compare yourself to the person that you were yesterday. Because when you look into yesterday and see what you did wrong, today is the chance for growth. So, there's that. The third thing that I wish that I knew before starting high school is that I wish that I watched who I hung out with, okay? I don't regret who I hung out with. I, the people that I hung out with, I don't regret it. You know, I'm grateful that I spent time with them. I'm grateful that they accepted me as a friend. I don't know, but I'm grateful to spend time with them. If I never spent time with them, I wouldn't be where I am today. But understand this, watch who you hang out with. There is a lot of people in high school, a lot of people who have toxic energy, okay? Real toxic energy. You could feel it, you could hear it. Sometimes you can smell it. <laughs> you gotta be careful, bro, because there's some toxic people out there. There is some toxic people out there, okay? Remember, you are the five people you hang out with the most. You hang out with toxic people, you will become toxic. You hang out with lazy people, you will become lazy. You hang out with people who are negative, you will become negative. You know what I'm saying? Now reverse that. You hang out with people who are rich. <laughs> Don't be a gold digger, but I'm just using it as an example. You hang out with people who are rich, you'll become rich. Trust me, you'll become rich. You hang out with people who are motivated in life, who love life. You will become just like them. So surround yourself with people who are winners, okay? Not, I'm not trying to say like the people who are on the other side of the spectrum are losers. No, I'm trying to say surround yourself with people who want something out of life. So surround yourself with people who are hungry and try to avoid toxic energy. Because I'm telling you, man, it will affect you in the long run. The fourth thing that I wish I knew before starting high school is that I wish that I knew that no one cares about you. Okay? No one cares about you in high school. <laughs> no one cares about you. And if they really do care about you, they, they have problems. Legitimately, if the people really care about you that much to the point where they clown you, they have problems. I wish that I knew that before, that no one cares about you. Because nobody cares, okay? If you want to do something in high school, freaking do it, bro. This channel was mainly entertainment based. I made public interviews. I made skits. And I, they got hella views. They made, I made gaming videos, they got hella views. And then I just stopped uploading. I stopped uploading and I thought to myself, why am I making this content? Why am I making this content necessarily for other people? Why am I making it for them? So they could laugh? They could laugh, oh, Javoy, oh, he's funny, he's a funny guy. Public interviews, look at the editing. You know, it's the biggest flex of all time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like they were happy with the videos, but I was getting, not necessarily depressed, but I was getting sadder and sadder with each video that I was making. These videos bring me joy. And sure, there's people who clown me because I make these videos. But there's also people who are like, damn, you really make these videos. These videos are sick. At the end of the day, I don't care. At the end of the day, I don't care if it's positive or negative. Even though the negative really motivates me, I'm grateful for both. But at the end of the day, people don't care, okay? I know I kind of drifted off a little bit to my own tangent, but still, people don't care, okay? People will look at the channel. Like my channel, I didn't want to make it because I'm insecure. I'm like, oh, everybody in school's watching my channel. No, not necessarily. People will probably look at my channel and be like, oh, he has a channel. Or, oh, he has a channel. No one really cares. And if they do, they need to see a therapist and talk about their feelings. <laughs> no, like, I'm not even joking, I'm being serious. Because there's some people out there who take their insecurities out on other people. And hey, I think everyone's done that before. I think everyone has done that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a saint or a sinner. But hey, I have done that. Everyone has done it before. And no one cares, no one cares. So be yourself, raise your hand in class, try out for a team, try new things. You know, join that club that you wanted to join. You know, talk to that girl that you wanted to talk to. Do these things, okay? Because when high school's over, you're going to be like, whoa, why didn't I do that? They didn't care. They didn't care. You know, they don't They don't care. People don't care, okay? Do, be you, be yourself. The fifth thing that I wish I knew before starting high school, I wish that I knew that it was time to focus on me, okay? I'm not saying don't be friends with other people. Understand that, you know, you're living in your youth, okay? Enjoy your youth. Spend time with people that you like to spend time with. But understand that if they're toxic, it will bounce off the walls and hit you. Understand that also. 
What I mean is focus on you, okay? Don't be reliant on other people. What I did, <laughs> which was terrible, I put my self-worth in the hands of people who did not care about me, okay? Don't do that, okay? I put my self-worth into outside factors. It's like I needed someone to be there for me to be confident, and I was a confident, whoo now I'm saying that was the confidence was skyrocketed. When someone was with me, I was confident as hell. I was like, yo, yo, the confidence was crazy. But when I'm by myself, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Where's the confidence, man? Where'd it go? It's one of the biggest things that I've conquered this year, which I'm grateful for. Focus on you. Focus on you. Find the happiness within. Don't look for outside things to make you happy because it just will not make you happy. Okay? For example, I could put all my self-worth in these 200 subscribers. I could be like, yo. <laughs> You can't mess with me. I got 200 subscribers on YouTube. I'm confident. I'm really confident. But I'm like, yo, I have 200 subscribers. No one can mess with me. Next thing you know, all the subscribers unsubscribe. I got zero subscribers. Now what happens? My confidence is gone. <laughs> oh my God! Where did it go? Your confidence is gone. That's why you don't put your happiness or confidence into other things. You have to build it within. And it sounds cliche, but it's true. You have to build the confidence from within. Because that's how you build unshakable confidence. Confidence that when people test your gangster, that confidence stays there. Sixth thing that I wish I knew before starting high school. I wish that I chased my goals earlier. You see, the fact that I'm doing YouTube right now is amazing and I'm chasing my goals, aspirations to be, well, I'm technically already a YouTuber, I guess, right? I wish that I chased my goals earlier. You know, I don't regret it that I you know, chased it now because I'm honestly happy. If I actually focused on myself and actually ch chased my goals earlier, I would have not went through all the struggle that I've been through. But at the end of the day, struggle breeds growth. Yeah, that's pretty much it, honestly. So those were the six things I wish I knew before starting high school. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and like and comment. Hold on, let's reverse that a little bit. If you're new to this channel, uh, <laughs> if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my content and uh, stay woke, my brothers. Schlatt. I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now, you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now, water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend.